That's good. Hello, and welcome to Brad Does Shit with Lennox, the Lennox series of Brad Does Shit. Uh, we're doing a, a substantial series on common things to do in Lennox uh, because I have hooked up a few friends with some Linux installations on old Chromebooks that I converted to Linux. And while one of them is on top of this sort of stuff, he's a systems administrator. The other one knows absolutely about nothing about it. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's Linux, right? And if you don't know about Linux, even as easy as, as it has become with Ubuntu, um, it's a mystery. Right? I mean, who the fuck knows what you don't know any of the file names, you don't know the extensions, you don't know how to install anything. And when you're talking about packages that don't come in the software center, like for example, which is amazing to me, Google Chrome, um, it gets confusing. How do I get it if I can't use the software center to install it, etc.? And since there are it literally, you know, six different ways you can install something on a Linux system using various package managers, etc., and it's not really, you know, just one way to install something, it can be a little bit confusing. So we're going to start right off the bat on how to install Google Chrome. Very simple, very easy to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up the system menu. You can do it with your mouse like this, or you can just hit Alt M for menu, which is the shortcut key, and um, you type in Chromium and select it, hit enter, and it's going to open up the web browser that comes standard with Ubuntu and installations. I'm using this particular installation, Gallium, which I love. It's built specifically for Chromebooks that have been converted to Linux. So you're just going to type in www.google.com forward slash Chrome. And it's going to open up the um, Google Chrome website. Hit the download, personal computers. Hit download Chrome. And you want the first option if you're running Ubuntu. And sometimes you'll be given an option where it's 64-bit, it'll say AMD 64-bit, or it'll say i386 32-bit. Pretty much for everyone, you're going to be running a 64-bit. No one really runs the 32, so just go for the 64-bit. If you're running Ubuntu, you want DEB packages. You don't want RPMs. So I've already downloaded this to save a little time. You would just hit accept and install, and it would download the package for you. And um, there's a couple quick shortcut keys to maneuver around Google Chrome and Chromium. Uh, Control T adds tabs. Control Tab goes between the tabs. Control Shift Tab goes the opposite direction. Control W deletes the tabs until you're out of it. Okay, so we've downloaded this. So we're going to hit Alt M again to open up our menu. And we're going to type in file, and you'll see right away it, I keep wanting to point at the screen with my fingers, but you can't see that, can you? So you'll see right away it, op it, it goes to file manager. Just hit enter. Okay, everything you download from the internet is going to be in, I know this is shocking to most people, the downloads folder. So just open up this, and uh, I have quite a few things downloaded, but you probably won't have a lot in here. So you're just going to hit this Google Chrome stable. And I can't emphasize this enough. It's so fucking easy. Double click on it. And it's going to open up the software center. While the software center does not have the package available to you, and I, I, I have a future video plan for all the different ways you can install programs on Linux. Um, I'm going to go through all five, but it's going to be a lot more than five minutes of video. Trust me. So you just click install. It's going to ask for your password. Any second now, it's going to pop up and say, what's your password? Because it wants to make sure that you are allowed to make changes to your system. So you're just going to put in your password, hit enter. It's going to load. And it doesn't take very long once the package is in, um, even with a Chromebook. So it's just installing here, and it's done. So um, we're just going to exit out of this. Um, by the way, if you're used to using Windows shortcuts, the Windows menus in Linux are the same. So just hit Alt Space Bar, and it opens up the window menu. And you can close, exit, minimize, whatever you want to do. So we're just going to close this. OK, 
So now that we have Chrome installed, where is it? Well, it's in the menu, so hit Alt-M and then type in CR. Oh, look, there it is. So go down to where it says Google Chrome and this is where you can do whatever you want now with it. So it's installed, so right click on it, add it to the desktop, right click on it again and add it to your panel. And that's, that's all you have to do. So um, you can see right down here in the lower right hand corner, it adds it to the panel. So you can just click it whenever you want or I put it on the desktop, double click it and boom, Google Chrome installed. And I'm guessing that I was under three minutes, four minutes on this video. It's really super easy. That's the first thing you learn how to do in Linux.